So in this video, we're gonna talk about what a preserve is, what its purpose is, and why it's important, especially to you. So what a preserve is, it's a spot of land specifically designated to protect the animals and plants and geological features of a natural landscape. Preserves typically provide a refuge for critters and plants that are displaced when humans feel like developing a, you know, new Raising Canes or TJ Maxx shopping plaza. These critters have a need a place to go and preserves offer them that opportunity. Not only do preserves offer a refuge for animals, but it also offers an amazing untouched piece of land for biologists to do research on. And later on in this video, we'll talk to you about the different techniques that biologists do in out in the field. I'm Dr. Janelle Ortiz, and I'm an assistant professor here at Cal Poly Pomona. Our lab focuses on urban wildlife and conservation education. Hello, my name's Adriana. I'm a master's student in Dr. Ortiz's lab. Hi, my name's Jennifer Flores, and I am a master's student in Dr. Ortiz's lab, and I am studying biology pedagogy, also known as bioeducation. With all this talk about the preserve, you might be wondering, what does this have to do with me? Well, Cal Poly actually is home to a 76 acre preserve called the Voris Preserve. And if you've walked on campus, then you've likely interacted with some of the animals that call this place home, even if you haven't noticed them. See, Cal Poly Pomona formally established the preserve in the 1980s to protect the coastal sage scrub and coast oak woodland habitats. To date, since the 80s, the preserve has been responsible for helping conserve four different types of amphibian species, over 30 different mammal species, 100 different bird species, and even more insect and plants. If you've never noticed where the preserve at, that is not a problem. That is why we're here to tell you that it is located at the back of Cal Poly Pomona's campus behind J-Law in between the Kellogg House and the agricultural farms. A particularly neat thing about the preserve is that it's considered a habitat island. And what that means is that this piece of land is completely surrounded by developed urbanized areas, giving it the island name. This preserve is considered a habitat island because it's surrounded by the Forest Lawn Cemetery, the 57 Freeway, Cal Poly Pomona's campus, and the suburbs of Pomona and Walnut. Having the Voorhees Preserve here on Cal Poly's campus allows us to protect some of California's native habitats and allows some refuge for protection of wildlife as well. The preserve allows a landscape that allows biologists to do research out here on the Voorhees Preserve, including undergraduates and graduate students who conduct studies out on the preserve just right here on campus. We're interested in monitoring the wildlife that call Cal Poly Pomona home. One way we're doing this is by setting up camera traps throughout the preserve. We have 20 cameras set up throughout the preserve to monitor wildlife seasonally to see how the urbanization in the surrounding area influences the species that we have here. So what is camera trapping? Camera trapping allows ecologists to monitor wildlife in their natural habitat without any human interference. Camera traps, also called trail cams, take motion censored photos and videos when triggered by wildlife presence. Wildlife commonly seen at Cal Poly Reserve include mule deer, great horned owl, coyotes, western scrub jay, northern flicker, northern mo mockingbird, and raccoons. In order to set up camera traps, we need to uh, determine the most active areas that wildlife are often found. Uh, one main way of doing this is determining wildlife trails, as you can see here. Um, another way is finding tracks that the animals leave after they walk past an area, or scat, also known as feces, of a wildlife um, animal in that area. So one example of tracks we see on the trail commonly are mule deer, as you could see here on this wildlife trail. These are the hoof prints. Data from camera trap photos allows us to answer a lot of different questions, including questions about animal activity, who's at the preserve or using the habitats within the preserve, where can we find them, when can we find them. We're able to also use the data to answer how many animals are out there of specific species, estimating population sizes. The photos could also help us capture elusive or secretive species that are not commonly seen by people. Want to help us identify wildlife? Learn more about the Cal Poly Wild Project by using the QR code below.